Hello scientific audience, how are you all? So as promised, I am back with a very good demonstration which is the image formation by the concave mirror. Now this demonstration is for grade 7 till grade 12. All students can understand this well. For this experiment, I have taken a concave mirror of 20 cm focal length. As you can see, this is our mirror. It is mounted on a wooden stand. You can also choose mirror, concave mirror of any other focal length. We require a scale to measure all the distances. We require a candle, which is going to be our object. This candle is mounted on a plastic cap. And the screen. The screen is basically the white paper which I have fixed it on a small plywood piece and I had asked my carpenter to join two pieces of plywood on which I have fixed the A4 size paper. Because we are going to obtain the real images and real images are obtained on the screen. So now let's move ahead with our experimental part. So here what I have done is I have joined three A4 size paper then I had drawn a line and then I have marked the distances 20 centimeters, 40, 60 and 80 centimeters. All those points are marked and all these points are the distances which are measured from the mirror. So guys, the first case, the object is placed between the pole of the mirror and the focus. In this situation, we know that the image is going to be formed behind the mirror. It will be virtual, erect, and it will not be obtained on the screen. So even if I move the screen backward and forward, the image is not obtained on the screen. Now here guys you can see that on taking a closer look you can see the image is behind the mirror and the image is actually bigger than the object. You can see the size of the candle being enlarged over there. Now the object is kept on the focus at a distance of 20 centimeters from the mirror. Now since the image will be formed at infinity, so even if I try to move the screen forward and backwards, I will not be obtaining the image on the screen because the screen has to be very very far away from the pole of the mirror to obtain the image. The object is kept between F and C. So the image must be real and inverted. It should be beyond C. And the size of the image must be larger than the object. When you move the screen and when you finally obtain the image on the screen, you should be careful that the image must be sharper 
so the sharpest point would be considered as your image distance you can move the screen forward and backward to check the sharpness wherever you get the sharpest image that location would be your final image location Now the object is kept at C, so the image must be formed at C, same size as that of the object, it should be real and inverted. Now the object is kept beyond C and since the image will be formed between F and C, I will shift the screen closer to the mirror and try to obtain the image. You can see that the image is formed between F and C. The image is smaller in size, real and inverted. 